So you have type 1 diabetes. It's something you're going to manage, mostly with insulin, a hormone your body doesn't produce when you have type 1 diabetes. By now, you probably know how and when to give yourself insulin. And if you have an insulin pump, you probably know how to maintain it. But do you know how to tell if something's not working? That's what we'll be looking at. You eat carbohydrates to fuel yourself with energy. Your body breaks down the carbs into sugar, which then goes into your blood. Think about it like filling up the gas tank in a car. When you eat, your body stores the carbs to use as energy when you need it later, like filling up the gas tank. Insulin is what opens the tank to let the gas in. As someone with type 1 diabetes, you don't produce insulin naturally, so the sugar doesn't get to where it's supposed to be, which is why you take insulin. If you're not getting the insulin you need, the sugar you eat stays in your blood instead of being stored in the tank. When this happens, your body won't have the fuel it needs when it needs it, and your body will seek out alternative sources to break down into fuel. One of the first sources it looks for is fat. Except when your body breaks down fat, it leaves ketones in your bloodstream that make your blood acidic. Together with high blood sugar, Acidic blood from the ketones can make you sick and put your body in a state of diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA. And DKA is really, really serious. It can even be fatal. The most common reasons for DKA happening are developing type 1 diabetes, missing taking your insulin, getting an infection, and malfunctioning equipment. Your body will give you plenty of pre-DKA warning signs before you're in serious danger. You may pee more than usual, which is your body getting rid of the sugar that isn't making its way into your cells. You may feel thirstier than usual, which is your body diluting the unused sugar in your bloodstream with water. You may find yourself breathing faster, which is the way your body tries to compensate for acidic blood. And you may feel tired and weak. If you notice any of these warning signs, check your blood sugar and also check your blood or urine for ketones. If you are worried or you're not sure what to do, call your diabetes care team or go to the hospital. Remember these easy steps to prevent DKA. Test your blood sugar regularly. Always take your insulin even when you're sick. If you are sick, stay hydrated and you may need to take more insulin than normal. If you wear a pump, check regularly to make sure it is connected and working. And if you notice any of the DKA symptoms, check your blood or urine for ketones. Want to know more about DKA? Have other questions about managing your diabetes? Ask your diabetes care team and stay tuned for more videos to help you stay healthy and continue to live the life you want.